Welcome back to another episode of Samuel Highlights, a series where we update you on all the great and upcoming events at, and groups at Santa Monica High School. I'm Jalen Norales. And I'm Jackson Sills. Tonight we talk with the volleyball team, track team, humans of Samuel High, as well as recap the senior art show. Stay tuned. <laughs> Here with us we have Sadie Saltzman and Holly Erickson, the creators of Samo, Humans of Samo High. Thank you guys for joining us. Sure. Thanks for having us. Nice to have you guys. So what is Humans um, of Samo High? Um, do you want to go? Do you want me to talk? Um, you go. Okay, so we're both in a class called um, Photo 2. It's like the second photography class at Samo High. And first semester you're basically assigned to do an, a semester long project. So Holly and I were in photo one together our junior year and we were like at the very end we were like oh we're both going to take photo two what should we what should we do for a project and we both really love Humans of New York which is a photo blog by Brandon Stanton okay. and so we were really inspired by that and we decided to do like our own version of it which turned into Humans of Samoa. Yeah, I like it. I, I've seen it all over campus. No. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, what was some of your most interesting people you interviewed for Humans of Samoa? Um, yeah, well, my favorite, I honestly love all of them, but one of the ones that stands out the most to me is um, Gabe. He was, he's in the marching band, but, and he really talks about how people project an image of him for being in marching band, and he kind of talks about, well, yeah, but I love that, and I am this, and I can be like multiple things <coughs> at once. I just think it's really interesting. My favorite one was um, of these two kids named Aggie and Carson and um, basically Carson was talking about how they met each other in meditation class and she knew that he liked her but she also knew that he was like too scared to ask her out so um, she asked him out and I thought that was kind of <laughs> yeah. cute and also I like their matching orange hair. They, yeah, cool. they're really cute. They're awesome. <laughs> how did you choose them? Are these all people you know or do you sometimes just see someone and you want to take a picture of them kind of like? Um, there's definitely some randoms, kind of like yeah. our our method for doing it is we would shoot at lunch and we'd walk around the campus and just kind of Whoever ask. kind of like stood out yeah, to us. Yeah, we, we looked okay. for people that would stand out to We us. definitely did shoot some of like our yeah. friends, but we also went out and like found people we had like never seen before yeah. to try and like get their story sort of thing. That's cool. Yeah. So how long have you been doing the Humans of Samuel High series? Um, we did it all throughout first semester. So okay. we, um, basically how our photo class is set up, you would shoot like each week and then you'd go to the class and you would show all your photos and you'd get critiques on each photo and then we'd go back out and shoot and try and like, um, using like our, um, using what our classmates told us, try and get better pictures and that sort of stuff. Did you guys have any like problems or annoyances with Humans of San Ohio or was it all kind of just peachy keen throughout the whole thing? Um, it was a really great process, but there was a lot of people that would ask us, mm -hmm. like, hey, can we be on it? Hey, can we be on it? And it, it got kind of repetitive and annoying. <laughs> and it's also um, hard work. And yeah. that was yeah. it's like people think that it's, oh, picture on Instagram, right. that's yeah. it. But it's actually really hard. Because you're get, trying to get like a good yeah, group of people. And, and, like, and for them to say something that's really interesting yeah, exactly. and like yeah. is actually... I don't know, important Interesting or significant. Or, yeah, cool. Also, something that was really difficult is we would actually go up to people that we had never seen before and they would say no. Yeah. So it was oh, like, wow. damn, like, we have to People that are on campus else. would yeah. say no? Yeah. yeah. Like, and there, the other thing is we had to have photo release forms. Right. Yeah. That so was another issue. Because they're underage, so that was kind of That hard. was another, because then you had to, like, figure out when you were going to find this person the next right. day so they yeah. could go get it signed by their parents. So. That's a lot. Because yeah. it's, like, fun, right? Or it was yeah, fun. Yeah, definitely. It, was, it fun. was cool to, like, go meet all these new people. Yeah. Like, I would have, we would have never met them. Did mm -hmm. you guys make any, like, long-standing relationships just from Humans of Stan Samuel High, or? Hmm. Not really. Not but that much, but like, I think. But I, d I definitely met people now that I can like I look at in them. the hallway. And yeah, I'm like, exactly. Hey, yeah, exactly. Like, like it's definitely a lot of those. It's definitely. like oh, we shot that person. Yeah. So 
I just want to thank you so much, um, Sadie and Holly, for speaking with us. We really, really appreciate it, and we really like the book. It's really good. I've thank seen it myself. You. Thanks. Don't go anywhere. More Samuel Highlights is coming up next. Riding a bicycle can seem like child's play. But only if you're playing indoors. <laughs> Riding in the real street has real consequences. Play it safe. Ride by the rules. Cars and bikes need to play together. Hey, slow down! Right next to the library on 7th Street is the Santa Monica History Museum, where history comes to life yeah. for the entire family. <sighs> Enjoy the exhibits, main gallery, the photo archive, research gallery, and much more. Come visit the Santa Monica History Museum, keeping history alive. Every year, our graduating seniors put on a spectacle where they show off their work at the Senior Art Show. Here with us are participants of this event, Gabe McGallion and Sophia Greco. Hi guys. Uh, what sort of projects and pieces were you guys working on while you guys decided to do Senior Art Show? Um, for the most part, we... Well, the two of us are in AP Art, so a lot of the time we would have pieces that were already done that we just had favorite pieces. Mm -hmm. um, the Senior Art Show happened to coincide with a big deadline in AP Art, which was the AP test, so a lot of us didn't have our best work because we all sent it to the board to be graded in order to get the best score possible, so most of us um, didn't have too many extra pieces. Uh, um, what did you guys show? I mean, from a standpoint of like, for everyone of you, like what were your favorite pieces that you should? Well, I mean, I, I ended up really lucky because I was able to show the work that I really wanted to show, which was like my, I did these three pieces on like my little brother's broken skateboards that I just decided to paint and stuff. So, um, the senior art show, I feel like, was a good opportunity to show stuff that I wasn't able to send to the uh, AP portfolio because it was just too big and like there would be no way. So it was a good opportunity to like do stuff that you don't normally get to show in class or for a grade. So speaking of AP class, what's it like in AP? Like, what do you think makes it slightly difficult, um, more difficult than it would be if you just took regular painting? Um, well, for one, we're expected to complete a piece every week, mm. and we're expected to have it finished. Like, we have to render, um, we have to render it and make sure that it's high quality, and it doesn't necessarily have to be 100% perfect, which is why we submit it for critique every Friday to have our classmates, uh, give input on the piece, but usually we're expected to have a piece that's 90% there. I right. think... Well, so we're, we have to wrap it yeah, up. So we're just going to take a look at this beautiful event. We'll be right back. Uh, congratulations to all of our showing artists. I hope if this is your first art show, welcome to the club. It's really fun showing your art. Have some refreshments. We'll be here till 7 o'clock. And buy some ceramics. Thank you. I, I like that this one video called Easy. Um, who's, who's in the corner of the room? It really brought like a different perspective on like the whole art show. Like just a video being uh, like continuously this this new abstract concept.
Our donors gave over $5,000 this year to fund. Yeah. Wow, that looked amazing. Yeah, that was really good, guys. Thank you. How did it feel like showing off your work to everyone? Um. Well, a lot of the times I was taught by a lot of my teachers, like, do art for yourself and do it what makes you happy. But at the same time, it's nice to know that um, a lot of people can see what I've worked on and what I feel really passionate about. So, Very humble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you guys ever suffer from art block? Or, like, do you guys have struggle finding inspiration? Yeah, all the time. It's really hard to churn out a week a piece. Like when you know you're not used to working that fast right. especially like some people just if you paint like that can take longer than a week especially if you're busy with school and stuff yeah and I took painting one freshman year and <laughs> like I, I couldn't even keep up I was like turning in assignments late and it was just yeah, like it's paint different colors it's the hardest thing plus there are like real assignments right. yeah so what would you say to up-and-coming seniors who may be interested in submitting? Um, I would say definitely do it, and if you're not in AP art, revel in that chance, because <laughs> not having to sacrifice all your great work for the APs is nice, because you sort of have your own choice of work, and like what um, you don't really have to worry about that big deadline. Now, do you think showing off some of your work at the Senior Showcase was kind of like a way to leave your impact and your mark before you guys left? Or do you guys just see it as an opportunity for you to show off your work? I mean, I felt like it was just nice to have all the senior work there in one place. And, you know, even like from photography and ceramics and stuff, because in AP Art, mm -hmm. we don't ever get to see that stuff. Right. And it was just fun to see, like, really what everybody's doing. and. Not so it was just like AP art. Oh, okay. Well, that's really cool. Um, thank you so much for joining us, <laughs> the both thank of you. you. Uh, up next, we'll talk with two members of the male volleyball team. Don't go away. From the volleyball team, Here's Sam Rietta and Noah Almenia. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so what made you two want to join volleyball in the beginning? Go ahead. Okay. Um, my sister actually played volleyball for the Santa Monica team um, in 2009. So I pretty much just started playing. I actually played football at first and then uh, decided to play it in the off season and then just kind of fell in love with it. Uh, for me, uh, I played basketball uh, through the first part of the semester and then second part of the semester. I was bored and I thought, hey, I'll try out for the volleyball team and um, I, f I made it and uh, uh, made web my way to varsity. Wow. So, h like, what grade are you guys in? How long have you been playing? Uh, I'm a senior. I've been playing since freshman year. Okay. And I'm a junior. I've been playing since freshman year as well. Now, okay. uh, what positions do you guys play? Um, I actually play um, a few different positions. I play outside hitter, opposite, and I also set for my um, different, I play for a different club team. Um, but it's okay. I kind of go around whatever I need to play. Uh, I play middle blocker, but you'll probably see me filling up water bottles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's 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 really fun. Um, I'm really happy to be with the team. It's it's been such a crazy, awesome year this year. Um, I'm hoping we can replicate it next year. Uh, what's your routine like? Do you guys enjoy practicing at all, or is it kind of annoying? What would you like? To um, <laughs> well, we have a pretty awesome coach in Sato. Uh, it's hard at the same time. It's a lot of fun too. So, you know, it's not too bad. We do we do get a lot done, but it's not too difficult. It's some st stuff we can handle. So, it's not bad. No, it's it's not bad at all. I I love it. Um, honestly, any time that I get an excuse to hang out with my teammates, it's it's awesome. <laughs> we were able to go to Hawaii, and yeah. 
even practices there where we were practicing in like 100 degree gyms it was it was all fun i just love hanging out with those guys so speaking of gyms how how do you guys train for volleyball um, so we start off with a pretty intense um, warm up just because we do so much movement with our uh, body. Um, and then we'll usually go into some serving and passing just so we can get some uh, basic techniques down. Uh, and then from there, just kind of whatever you need to work on, whether it be blocking a certain defense, um, hitting high hands, corners, different things, you know, whatever, whatever thing we were struggling on in the last match. Okay, so you played basketball and you played football. So do you think volleyball training is harder or easier than your previous sport? <laughs> Way easier. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I mean, uh, basketball, for me, it's, it's definitely a lot of running up and back. But what I will say is volleyball has taught me a lot about quick twitch muscles, is how fast you can respond. And in basketball, it's a lot of thinking. You're, you're constantly, like, while you do have to act quick, volleyball is very much hit and then you have to move. And that took me a while to adjust to. So, I mean, it definitely has been a different experience. Yeah. Uh, football was, well, football was pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> I got um, two days over summer, practice until 7 o'clock, yeah. lifting until 4. So volleyball is definitely a lot easier, but um, it's, still, it's still not easy. It's not yeah, an easy thing to do still. still. Just working out. Yeah, it's still not fun, but <laughs> it's got something you got to do. Right. And you guys are in CIF, right? Uh, we actually lost on uh, Thursday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry to hear. <laughs> uh, any memorable moments or really funny ones? Um, just honestly, this team in general. I played volleyball for four years. I've been on a few different teams, but this team has really stood out as like definitely a season I'm going to remember with these guys. You know, just like the things we've done, memories we have, especially in Hawaii. It's it's a lot. It's it's just a whole lot of fun. No, especially in Hawaii, when you live with these guys for a week, you definitely get to know them. And um, even the trip right or right before Hawaii, like we were really close, but I mean, we hadn't really bonded as a team yet. And once we kind of left Hawaii, it was a brand new team, and it was reflected in our play. I really think that if we hadn't had that trip to Hawaii, that we wouldn't have been the CIF competing team that we were. We uh, after coming back from Hawaii, we were able to uh, pull out a great victory against. Um, Culver. Uh, Culver City, and then uh, later in the season, we were able to beat Beverly uh, for a playoff spot. So it really wow. brought the team together. Yeah, that's really good. So, in one word, what do you think is the best way to describe volleyball? Blaine, uh, whip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Sam and Noah, thank you so much for coming. Um, we'll be right back with more track team and Sam Ham Sam Highlands. Yeah. Discover 30 years of opera in Santa Monica. Discover the Verdi Chorus. Hey, Mom. Yes, I'm home. Save you some dinner. Plan now for a major earthquake. Contact the Santa Monica Office of Emergency Management. Don't be caught in the dark. Welcome two members of the track team, Anya Sturm and Ellie cross Critty. How are you guys doing today? We're good. good. <laughs> That's good to hear. Um, so this is your first year on track team, right? Yeah, yeah. we're both freshmen. Uh, what's it like? Have you guys done sports outside of Samo or? We both did soccer, like pretty much our entire lives. Yeah. Um, and then, in the summer, the cross country team um, holds like these kind of anyone can come um, all comer practices where like, even if you don't want to join the team, you can just come to get in shape. And we that's where we met like officially yeah. and we ran there and we both liked it. And so we tried out and got on. And then at the end of cross country, we just, you know, naturally did track. Mm. Right. So what made you guys join track from soccer to track? Um, well, I had heard that the cross country program was like really cool and the track program too and that you could meet like people who are older because you were all kind of on one team. 
So that was cool. That was probably why I wanted to do it. And you can get in shape, which is <laughs> fun. That's true. And my brother did it, and he quit after two years. <laughs> but like, <laughs> then he was like, you know, I shouldn't have quit. Like, you sh actually should go for it. And it turned out to be, like, I think for both of us, I, our natural sport. So mm -hmm. yeah. it was cool. So what do you guys do, like, specifically on track? What do you guys run? Um, we're both distance, so, like... 800 mile and two mile. Mostly the mile though. Yeah, mostly uh, the mile. And how does the scoring like kind of work? Um, what kind of competitions are there too? It's so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like, well, so it, at dual meets, what happens is the top three places in each race uh, will get points. The first one will get five points, second one, three, and then the third place, one, and then like, so really it's just about like numbers because if there's a race where the other team doesn't have anyone entered, you can, you know, enter people that have never run it before and still mm -hmm. get points. So the more points you have, the better your score? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And like, even if you get first place and the, like, if you're on one team and you get first and then the other team gets second and third, like, you've still won that event because the first place gets the most points. So what, what place do you guys think your <laughs> average is? Like, as a team? Or as like personally. Uh, like average second place, mostly first place, or like aiming towards first place? Well, I run varsity, and so I usually get like second place. Okay. That's I do like Frosh and get first. <laughs> oh, okay. How was your guys' season this year? Um, what did you guys do, or how did you guys do? Um, It's kind of hard, like well just from a distance like standpoint. Like yeah, like you our, can't really our distance for the team would get like one through six in each, in like all of the events. So we do pretty well. But then the sprints team, like <laughs> Culver and Lawndale, they both have a really good sprints team. Mm -hmm. So but this year, ours is good too. Just like <laughs> 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 yeah, ours is amazing. Yeah, but so they took they took the trophies, but we got second. So. But so yeah, we have one sprinter that um, Marcel Espinoza, who's uh, like going yeah. to <laughs> state, and then we had a few distance that went to CIF. But it was kind of like reality check. There's some really good right. people out there. And how do you? Oh, go ahead. How do you train for this? Like, do you? run during like the actual program at school and then you relax on the weekends or you just train every day run every day you um, get you run like every day but usually you get a sunday off but i mean you'll have certain days for for distance we'll do long runs so it'll be like seven miles seven miles like a day but then on tuesdays and thursdays you'll have if you don't have a race we yeah have really hard you have workouts. really hard workouts where you'll do like all out 200s or maybe it'll be like 800s just really depending on the day. It's like yeah. sometimes oh, wow. we'll do speed workouts. Right. But then like Wednesday and Friday, we usually relax, you know, just like four miles, just at whatever pace you <laughs> can do. I, it, it seems like weird. Like when we first came in, like to cross country, we we're like four miles is so much. <laughs> right. but yeah, for me at least. Yeah, but like <laughs> now it's like four miles, like thank God. Mm -hmm. Right. That, yeah, I guess that's a break when you're always running for hours and hours. Yeah. After but but you, you learn to enjoy it, though. Like, right. it's surprising. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you for coming, Anya and Ellie. Uh, coming up, we speak with some young entrepreneurs. Stay tuned. Santa Monica Museum of Art. Take a closer look. Evan Hilton and Nick Gottlieb are two very talented entrepreneurs at Samo High. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so what made you guys interested in entrepreneurship? Well, as a kid, I've always known that I've never wanted to work for anybody and I've always wanted to become my own boss. <laughs> Uh, so in the seventh grade, I decided that Apple came out with a whole bunch of new products like the iPhone 4S, the iPads, and all that. And I decided that Apple, uh, its like accessories were very expensive, and during our economy, a lot of people couldn't afford that. So I decided to create my own technology accessory business. So I got a whole bunch of um, export from China, brought it over here, created an online website, and started selling technology accessories. And I took all that money as an initial uh, investment. Uh, so I started investing in the seventh grade, actually, right after I stopped my technology accessory business. So 
ever since I've loved it and I want to pursue it for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, and then I was just thinking about how uh, the job market is really competitive, you know, and I decided that instead of looking for a job, it'd be easier if I just created one. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, so you guys have your own company, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Alpha Bay Capital Advisors. So we started in the April of 2014. Uh, we got registered in Delaware, incorporated. So it's yeah. up and running. Uh, it's, and it's a hedge fund, right? It is. Can yeah. you uh, explain that to yeah, me? Yeah, a hedge fund is uh, it's an investment firm. Um, we manage money for clients, um, investments and securities and stuff like that for, yeah, for our clients. And then we take a portion of the profit and return the rest to them. Oh, wow. So uh, what's it like owning a business? I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's a lot of hard work, though. It takes a lot of focus. Um, Definitely. A yeah. lot of motivation. And and that's a lot of it. Yeah, you have to be able to roll with the punches and stuff. Yeah. You roll, yeah, there's a lot of uh, challenges that you have to overcome. What about uh, juggling that with high school life? I mean, I'm yeah, sure that's, that's, that's probably... I think, I think yeah. the biggest thing for us, why we're so good at what we do, is we're really good at time <laughs> management. And, um, and, we've learned and we're modest. And we're modest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that one. So... Um, I, all our teachers are pretty lenient with us trading during class, so we've talked to most of them, we've explained what we do. Yeah, we actually managed some money for some of our teachers. <laughs> wow. So the, yeah, surprised. those teachers are more lenient um, about what we're doing. <laughs> so yeah. Surprised that's legal. Yeah. <laughs> when did you guys start working together? So basically bo we both started trading in middle school, him in sixth grade, myself in seventh. And uh, we both connected in the 10th grade with both of our passions for finance. And we talked about um, each week we'd come to each other about different stocks that we'd invested in. And we figured out that we had the similar like investment strategies. So we figured yeah. that his investment strategies with mine, uh, put them in toge uh, together, would be like a power couple. Yeah, so <laughs> and we really, yeah, we and really we worked well just from the beginning. It was, uh, it was a good team dynamic. So what club did you create? You created a club, right? Yeah, yeah. we did. Um, we started the Entrepreneurs and Investors Club at Samo High. Um, it meets Thursdays at lunch. A lot of people were coming to us with questions about investing. Um, we figured it'd be easier if we just did it in one setting so that everybody could come to it. Um, and it really took off. We have, I think, 32 members yeah. now. Oh, wow. Um, and a lot of people come to it. There's a lot of people that were interested in it, but there was never really a way for them to access you know, information about how to do it. Um, and so our goal is to provide that for people. Um, so do you guys have like startup stuff for people and like new people? Yeah, we go from the beginning. We go from the basics of what a stock is to butterfly option strategies, oh, wow. everything, really all uh, complicated <laughs> stuff. Um, yeah. And also we hold uh, a paper trading competition. Mm -hmm. So uh, after we taught uh, all the individuals in our, um, what's it called? In our club. Our club, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, start, we start a paper trading contest. So people, they sign up and they manage $10,000 of virtual money. Mm -hmm. And then uh, people with the top three highest returns, we give them interviews for positions at our actual fund with oh. salaries. And wow. actually two people actually yeah, now we've, work we've, for us. Yeah, we've hired two people wow. from that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah. You guys are hiring. You should let me know. <laughs> um, so to those of those interested in starting a business, mm -hmm. uh, what would you say to them? How would you guys uh, give tips and tricks? Yeah, um, I would say just get started. The hardest part is just yeah. getting started. If you have an idea, just go for it. Um, when you start, I mean, you have to know that there's going to probably be some failures along the way. Um, but once you get started, it gets easier from there. And make a, make a list um, of your goals. Because once you have your goals and you know what they are, it's way easier to start um, checking them off the list. I think my biggest tip is to like just focus on one thing. Like You don't want to like juggle around Absolutely. five different ideas. Because like in my mind, I'm always thinking about new ways to make money, new like big ideas. And if you really want something, you have to stick with that one idea and literally put all your time and effort into it. All right. Yeah. Evan, Nick, thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Thank you. Your devotion and productivity is truly inspiring. All right. Wasn't that something? There are a lot of involved and talented students at SAMO. It's so good to see something new at our school all the time. Thanks for tonight. I'm Jack and Sills. And I'm Jill Norales. Thanks so much for tuning in this season. And we hope to see you again this fall. Good night.